So I have a Google form to take attendance. I have one question for the attendance that has the one date they're taking attendance for today. So at the end of today, I'm going to change this to the next date. And I'm just going to do that every day. So there's only one option. You could set up the whole week so they radio click whichever one they're taking attendance for that day. It's up to you, but make sure it's multiple choice because you need it to be exactly the same student to student what they submit. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the responses tab and you, of course use the spreadsheet icon. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So this is, of course, awesome. I have all my attendance in one place. Yes. But the problem is, of course, all my attendance is in one place. And I'm like, okay, well, who checked in on Wednesday? So I can obviously sort and look at it in the spreadsheet, but wouldn't it be nice to have it all in separate tabs? So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the add-on menu, and you would have wanted to get add-ons, which I've already done that, and you want to get two tabs, and I'm going to show the sidebar. So what this is going to do is pull up the sidebar and shows right here what columns do I want to filter by. So I am going to do, are you here today, and submit. And notice what it's going to do is it's going to make a tab for each student. What it's going to do is make a tab for each date so I can tell that on Wednesday these students checked in and on Tuesday these students checked in. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to reset it. Okay. You're going to need to reset it every day because if they submit for attendance tomorrow when you created the tabs no new tab is created for tomorrow because tomorrow didn't exist today. So it's real simple. You just go in, reset, run it again, no problem. Now what if you want it by student? Then instead of choosing are you here today, I'm going to do email address. The only reason I would do name, which of course you see I didn't even fill that out my fake data, but the problem with names, I let them type in their name. Oh. So today they put Robert and tomorrow they put Bob and now it doesn't sort right. Or I have two Roberts. Mm. Okay, so if you're going to sort it, it's got to be multiple choice. So if you want to have a drop down multiple choice list of student names, then you can use two tabs to make a tab per student. Otherwise, I'm going to use email. So I'm going to sort by their email address, submit. So you can see along the bottom of each student's email address, and then I can see what is their attendance. So this student has checked in twice, this student has checked in twice, and this one's only checked in once.